Hey, who are you? How'd you get on my bus? What's your name? Right. Well, you want to come along with us? Sweet. One, two, three, funky. Welcome back to Weekend 11. No, because this video is Weekend 10 and 11. Mm -hmm. So in this video, we're showing you how we framed out the back of our bus because we have a flat nose school bus, so the engine is in the back, which we did this on Weekend 10 and 11. So also this weekend, <laughs> we're going to be teaching you how to do karate. <laughs> basically wrapping up framing of the back side of the bus and as you can see it's kind of an awkward space with a flat nose school bus the engine is in the back of the bus and for whatever reason this is what they decided to build it like and, and this is how it looks in the back of the bus so framing around it is kind of awkward because you have these things here which kind of just come down and at a weird diagonal angle and so we just decided we're just gonna box it instead of you know framing around it and you know as is we're just going to build a box around it so we can kind of at least use the space for maybe some shelving or something like that or, or cabinets but as for the back here these these back pieces are basically just contact points for us to attach our paneling to we're going to spray foam insulation all this back here and then we're just going to put basically some some thin wood paneling as our wall over it it's it's very lightweight again we're being very weight conscious of how much weight we're putting in the bus as you can see we kind of had to build this weird, awkward looking framing because we had to pull this out to meet flush with the face of this because our our back panel is gonna just basically lay over top of this. We're gonna spray foam all this stuff, spray foaming the top and the walls. It's, uh, it's not, it's not uh, probably your, your conventional way of framing, but it's gonna accomplish what we want. We're not really building any heavy structures back here. We're just kind of, uh, insulating it and covering it up thinking of the most simple way that we can frame over it and um, in order to do that this is what we came up with so obviously we're not professionals <laughs> as you can see but as long as these two faces run flush which they do we uh, we did all of our measurements already when we installed it we can insulate all that and, and throw a uh, wall paneling over it and uh, it's a done deal um, so what we did here we split two by fours again Miss Shea was on um, two by four splitting duty and all, um, all we're using here, it just has to be thick enough for us to put uh, what we're going to be using, which is a blue foam board um, sound deadening insulation. So instead of spray foaming the floors of the bus, we're going to be using that insulation because the engine is very loud and we want to, we want to minimize the sound. We are going to be on the road, obviously, and so uh, we want it to be as uh, less noisy as possible so we can relax more when we're just on the bus traveling. Um, so like I said, we just had to have our floor, our subflooring basically is what we're, we're going to be calling this because we're not really building anything back here. We want to leave this space open because we love this window right here and we want this natural lighting to be coming in. Um, so we're kind of just going to be using this as like a platform to set stuff on here because our bed will go right here. But um, for the most part, it's it's mostly just subflooring. We're, we're just treating it like subflooring and that's why it's kind of going... It's, it's just running down. It's going to run all the way down to the floor. All of it's going to be that blue foam board insulation, sound deadening, so we can hopefully minimize that sound. And um, this just this has to be thick enough for what the thickness of our foam board insulation. And then we're just going to cover them up with uh, thin wood paneling, the same that we're going to do for our wall. And the ceiling also, it's lightweight, it's cool. You can do a lot of stuff with it. You can make it look good. You can paint it, you can stain it. Um, I know a lot of people typically will do like the... Uh, the tongue and groove, uh, kind of looking almost kind of like shiplap. We are not going to be doing that. Uh, that's kind of our vision moving forward.
about to upload this video when I realized we forgot to film an outro. So I hope you enjoyed this video, watching us frame out the back of our school bus. So if you follow us on TikTok, you know that every Monday night we post a recap, a new episode showing you what we got done that weekend. Now, when we first got asked to do the YouTube, I was thinking, okay, I'll just post a weekly video on YouTube as well. But as time has gone on, um, as you can see from this past video where we completed the back in two separate weekends, I kind of am leaning more towards, instead of just posting a video every week, posting videos as we complete different segments of the build. Y'all let us know. Would you rather see the weekly videos that are shorter and kind of like more incomplete, just like as we're going along? Or would you rather get these longer videos like every other week or so that's like a complete look at a certain step of doing a bus conversion? So. You let us know what you want to see, but thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next weekend.